Good mythical morning. Some of my favorite foods are spoiled, like dry aged steak, blue cheese, and car seat fries. <laughs> well, today we may be adding to that list because we're gonna be tasting some expired foods. But the question is, will we actually be able to tell that they are expired? It's time for You're the date that's on my food. You're the expiration. Americans on the whole are so terrified of eating spoiled food that we waste 150,000 tons of food each day. Every day. Yeah, and confusion over expiration dates is a big cause of that waste. In fact, according to time.com, expiration dates solely indicate freshness and are used by manufacturers to convey when the product is at its peak. Okay. That means the food does not expire in the sense of becoming inedible. For unrefrigerated foods, there may be no difference in taste or quality, and expired foods won't necessarily make people sick. No difference in taste or quality, huh? Well, we will be the judge of that. That's what we're gonna do. We'll be presented with two versions of a food. One of them will be beyond its expiration date, one will not. Mm -hmm. We're gonna taste them both and then stick our flag in the one that we think is expired. Whoever guesses the most right will be officially name tagged Expiration Brian. All right. Let's get to tasting. Round one. Mmm, yogurt. I, I'm predicting yogurt's tough because it's so tart. Well, it's got a bacterial culture already in it. Let's start over here because- Come over here. This one's smooth, that one looks lumpy. A little chunky. Yeah. Smells like yogurt. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Hmm. Unflavored, which wouldn't have been my choice. It doesn't taste good to me. I, I like it. I like a straight- It's pungent. Tart yogurt. I wanna know that bacteria is getting inside my system and reorganizing the the the, the gut flora. <laughs> Your gut flora. The what, gut flora. You might just be liking expired yogurt. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't like the idea of knowing that one of these is definitely expired, and I'm definitely going to eat it. Huh? The it, edge has been taken off a little bit, hasn't it? I don't know if it's because we ate it second, but it's not as pungent. But the consistency is definitely different. But does the edge go, does the pungency oh, oh, oh. increase or decrease? Are you getting an aftertaste? Spoon. Distinct taste of spoon. Okay, I'm ready to vote. I'm voting. I mean, we don't have to, you don't have to do a three, two, one. Just vote, man. Okay. Have some guts. Huh, I just wanted to trick you. <laughs> this one's definitely expired. I got an aftertaste. That was was nasty. I think it's tart and it, it gets better with time. It's like wine. The expired yogurt is on Rhett's side. <laughs> yeah, man. 22 days old. Yes. 22 days old? And mm. it, it was- still like it. It's not that much different. Just only slightly. Okay. Round two. Well, both of them look like barbecue sauce to me. <laughs> but it's ketchup. It's dark ketchup. That's dark. This is even darker, right? Get a little pinky dip. Has some acidity, which is not unexpected. I don't know what kind of ketchup that is. This is a weird brand of ketchup. It's a weird ketchup. For it to be this dark, anyway. Whoa. 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 Got a lot vinegary. Again, I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't. What does it all mean, Link? Well, here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna tell you which one I like better. This one has got much more bite. It's much more vinegary. Almost spicy. It definitely tastes better. Okay, I'm ready. Well, ready I'm, 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 I'm ready. I'm going against what I did last time and assuming, yes, okay, against what I did. Do you want a three, two, one? Yes. Three, two, one. Yeah, so this I'm This one going, tastes good, that one's got a nasty. Yeah, it's lost its tartness, Yeah. which is what happened to the yogurt, so I'm going with a lesson. The expired ketchup, which is over six months expired, what? is on. Red side. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's changed significantly. It, it it mellowed. Yeah. But not in a good way. Things mellow. Hmm. Round, Round three. three. Caesar salad. Expired salad. Now salad gets slimy. Yeah. Very soon. I tried to make like a limerick. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna start over here because I'm I'm hungry. Oh, you! Oh, here's a piece of chicken. Doesn't look expired. I'm gonna learn things. 
Nothing unexpected here. I'm gonna get the same thing. I really don't wanna eat expired anything, much less chicken and leaves, which is what I call Caesar salad when I order at a fine dining establishment. Do you have the chicken and leaves? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a little more floppy. Uh, but would they put the expired item on my side three times in a row? Uh, I don't know, uh, I'm not keeping track of that. <laughs> That's all part of it, Link. It's all part of the game. I, I, I will say, it doesn't taste dramatically different. No. Agree or disagree? It's just floppier. Okay. Okay, three, two, one. Oh. But a floppier one has to be it's gotta expired. gotta be no expired one. This Caesar salad, which expired yesterday, is on Link's side. Oh, you switched it up. But it was only one day expired, so. Mm, that's that's why it was so tough. That's just floppy salad, man. Yep. You don't want to eat your, your meat and leaves like that. Chicken and leaves. Ch well, chicken and leaves in this case. Yes. Round four. Ricola expired. Okay. Now, I, I would never, I don't believe I would ever consider a lozenge. <laughs> lozenge. A what? A lozenge. Oh wait, look, look, look. Do you have the lozenge to follow up my chicken and leaves? You said lozenge. Do you have lozenges okay. to follow up my chicken and leaves? So I'm gonna open that What one. I was trying to say was, I don't think I would ever consider a lozenge. <laughs> oh. A lozenge expired. You All right, know what now, I'm saying? At no point. Oh wow. Well look though, look at the color difference. The oh. one on Rhett's side, is much more vibrant. It's like an amber color, you oh, know? No. It's as if you might find uh, a biological specimen in the middle of that in which you could start uh, an amusement park with. I think this is taking me back to the Alps. You I know? don't even think tasting is required. Pursing my lips on an extra long horn. <laughs> That's what they do in the Alps, man. I didn't need all that imagery. Um, okay. And this one, this 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 cloudy one, I'm a bit afraid of. But what if it gets purer with time? You ever thought about that? What if the cloudy is the way that they want it to be? You ever think about that? All right, I've got my answer. D does the cloudy one that you spit out taste different than the other one to you? I didn't taste the other one, I don't need to. In fact, I'm gonna well, tell you how many days it's expired. It's over two years expired. Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, it tastes no different. Yeah. Yeah. Because I had the guts to taste it. And you know what, it probably still- I'm still tasting it. It probably still has the same Ricola effects. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I mean, got it. But be. it has to be expired. Got it. I'm still eating it though. Two it's years. great. Two years. It has expired over three months ago. <laughs> and it is the one on Link side. Yep, yep, yeah. If that, if you had have said something different, I would have questioned everything about my existence up until this point. But it still tastes great. Ha ha ha. Round five. Okay, we have some spaghetti. And I uh, believe these are both whole wheat noodles. I believe you as well. Believe me, man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't send you astray. Now, is it the noodles or the sauce that, that's expired in one of these? Both. 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 Both! We spare no expense Can you say here. that again, Stevie, and say both with both. an F? Good. <laughs> I got no complaints. Uh, you do? Yeah, I wouldn't taste it again. Okay. Oh, you just about noodled myself. Flirted yourself. Oh gosh. I'm starting to get some complaints on this one. Oh, I got more complaints about that one than this one. I mean, I, I'm pulling on experience from eating Gross. the discontinued snacks that we buy off eBay and do whole episodes around, and I'm getting some of that like sawdusty thrift store thing from the, from the these noodles. Oh, <laughs> he's spitting them out. Wow. I'm the problem is I'm I'm behind. not trying to telegraph my my vote, but I think I just did. I This has got to be expired. It's got to be, right? But I got to do something. Uh, to, I can't, I'm just trailing at this point, but uh, you know what? There's, that's got to be expired, right? Uh, no, you can do that. No, 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 no. I'm no, good. you can do that. Okay, good, that's good. Stop oh. there, okay. You can do that. Okay, so oh. the pasta is over five months old, and oh, the sauce is about a month old, or past expiration, and they're both on 
link side. Yes. yes. That's very obvious. That, I do not recommend keeping that spaghetti around. Again, it didn't, I don't think it's gonna hurt us, but it does not taste good. It wasn't the sauce, it was the noodles mostly. Yeah. Round, Round six. six. We have a full American breakfast. We got an English muffin, eggs, bacon, and expired coffee on one side. I don't feel great about this. <laughs> I mean, who Why wants, not? Who You're wants, an American. Who wants to eat <laughs> an expired egg? Me, that, because I wanna be able to tell the people what it tastes like. That's the thing that makes me most nervous, man, the egg. The thing you're going for first. It's been cooked, though. I gotta taste a little bit of the egg, a little bit of the egg. That egg tastes normal. But there is a difference. There is a difference. This Take egg. A little muffin. This egg was a little softer, but again, it might have just been prepared slightly differently. Bacon? You ever eat an American breakfast and you just think, yeah, I am an American. Mm. No. Me neither. Okay. That bacon. You ever eat a continental breakfast and think, I am on a continent. Yes. Yeah, all I, the time. I will say that bacon did not taste good at all. But it's a different brand of bacon than this one, I think. And we also have coffee. This bacon tastes much better, but it may just be a brand thing. Well, we got one mug. How was that? How was that coffee? Um. Oh. Hmm. What side did you? Oh, never mind. Okay. Can you imagine if we if we <laughs> ate like this, at, like in public places, like oh, you I'm, know what? I'm drinking hot. We of should each go to a Holiday Inn and have a continental <laughs> breakfast and eat it like that, <laughs> and just film people's reactions. No, I'm start a prank channel. I'm gonna get this. And I'm gonna Look at those this. dual oh, leaders oh, having the continental breakfast. Hmm. It's like a team building exercise. Okay, that we do not right, need. I have I have a strong opinion here. I have a very strong opinion. It's okay. based mostly on the bacon and a little bit on the eggs. Three, two, one. Uh, yep, that's what it is, man. We agree. This is expired. What are you basing it on? What's telling it? Every single thing tasted a little okay. bit worse. Stevie? Okay. You were tasting eggs that expired 13 days ago. What? Bacon that expired 28 days ago. An English muffin that expired 25 days ago. And coffee that expired over a year ago. Yep. That coffee was bad. Yeah. Yep. And but I thought it was it Sanka. On red side. Yeah. Hey. We're good at this. Yeah, you're just a little bit better though. Um, Congratulations, Link. That means that you are officially Expiration Brian. I'll do the honors. Oh, come on, come on, man. Okay. I finally won something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I think, don't worry about expiration dates. That's what I learned. Maybe we should. Yeah, don't worry about the time. <laughs> Oh, you know what time it is. I'm Michael. I'm Steven. I'm Molly. And we're in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. And it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the Wheel, wheel of Mythicality. Oh, they're, they're, the they're their meeting spot. That's where we used to meet. Yes, and I, Bowie's Creek. I drew the location in our Book of Mythicality. Congratulations Good job, for guys. finding that. Click the top link to watch us match the crew member to their food poisoning story and good mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Mythical Amazon teas now available